All right, PE relocations 101 crash course. So first of all, why we need relocations? Um, so nowadays, binaries can be loaded at any address in memory, uh, although they contain some kind of preferable image base uh, compiled into the PE headers, all right? So it still means that some parts of the binary might refer to the original image base by absolute addressing and this implies that when such binary is loaded into memory it can crash at some point because of these you know so to speak hard-coded addresses okay so to address this problem linker as a so-called relocation section uh, which is you know we can say it's a, a kind of map of where these hard-coded addresses uh, live in a, in a binary, all right? So let's take some example and to make it more clear, all right? So let's start p uh, bear load some example binary, which is notepad, and let's go to optional header. So in optional header, we have image base, okay, set to this value. So it means that um, loader should try to load that at this address but also in, in in optional header there is an information that this module can be loaded at any address okay so lo so the loader doesn't have to comply with that value and can load that somewhere else all right so let's start notepad and see what is that what, what where it was actually loaded so let's go so this is, yeah, this is the base address of notepad instead of this value, all right? So that is why we have a relocation section which contains anything rela relating, uh, referring to this, to this base address. So let's go to base reloc uh, pad and uh, let's see how it looks like here. So what is this? Um, relocation section is basically a set of blocks which are of type this, image base relocation. And so, so each block um, contains this structure and is followed by some two byte records, you know, containing, uh, you know, more information. So. In other words, each block is a specific map um, uh, with the lo locations of where the relocation has should should be applied. Okay, so the first four bytes is uh, the, uh, the virtual address, and this virtual ad address is basically an RVA of specific page. Okay, in memory, then the next four bytes is our uh, size of the block, and this size of the block. Uh, also contains the size of the structure itself. So in our case, it's 178 in hex, but the data after the structure is actually 170. Uh, eight bytes is taken by is taken by the, the by the structure. All right. Now, what about these two two byte values? So each record is um, uh, means two things. The first is a type of uh, of the field and these types are defined here um, so it can be this is a, just a, a bit set uh, in in this uh, in this record in this value so in our case it's a which is 10 and it refers to so it it's a, mm, a related to 64 bit uh, uh, field okay the rest of the value is the offset from the beginning of the page. So in other words, virtual address is the address of the page uh, and the offset uh, from the value, you know, sh shows you the exact location within that page where the relocation has to be, uh, has to be performed. Uh, let me, let's, let's see what it, what lives here. So at, at this RVA one C zero zero zero, we have uh, we have we have some uh, we have some 
pointers and these pointers as you can compare it to the image original image base they contain something like this uh, 0, 1, 40, 0, 2, 4, 8, d0 okay so in other words it's somewhere somewhere uh, at the offset 0 to 4 a d0 starting from this base address okay so whenever code refers to this address it will break because our base address is different and that is why you need we need to do relocation and how the relocation is done so we need to calculate for the first step is to calculate the delta delta between the these two base addresses so originally notepad uh, in, in 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 its p, p header it has this address yeah this is the the our uh, image base yep this one and but loader has loaded notepad at some different address okay so we need to calculate the delta and then this delta will be added to this specific address okay so let's do, let's do this let's uh, take where is that let's take this fire up calc and calculate the delta so this is our base address uh, the real one uh, minus one four zero 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 okay this is our delta so let's store that now let's add this address so plus one four zero zero two four a d zero okay and so let's let's go to actually do this address and see what is there uh it's seven a three four this this is this block and a d four a d zero a okay a d zero so let's put some data here okay and now let's start debugger attach to notepad and let's go where is that uh, well, let's go to copy base address go to expression and we need to go to one C, uh, offset one C one C zero 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 okay so plus one C zero 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 to see uh, this relocation uh, table okay and let's verify 7 7 f f6 c7 c3 is e3 4 a uh, c7 e3 uh, 4 a d0 so it's correct it has been correct uh, correctly re recalculated relocated and if we go to we see our uh, changed like overwritten bytes okay so so basically what what loader is doing is is going let me get back to this is going through all these blocks and add the, add you know add the, the delta to all the addresses from from these offsets so basically this is how PE relocations uh, work.